Welcome to this tutorial on Zoom, how to record asynchronous videos for Oaks. If I want to record an asynchronous lecture for my students, I can log into Zoom in one of two ways. I can sign in from my cfc.zoom.us account, and I can go to my profile and use my personal meeting code to start a meeting with myself, or I can go to my course homepage where we have Zoom embedded in the toolbar. You click on Zoom, then that takes you to your personal meeting room here. And you can just scroll down and click start this meeting. You'll open zoom.us. That will take you to the app on your computer. And you always want to join with audio because once you click this, when you screen share, you can share videos, music, any sound on your computer. So I hit join. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to start my video and I'm going to unmute myself. That way I can be heard lecturing. So then I want to click record. Now I can record on my computer or to the cloud. I like recording to the cloud because I have a link that I can share with my students and embed in Oaks. So record to cloud and we're connected. So now I'm going to share my screen and I have some slides ready for my lecture. And I'm just going to kind of move my toolbar, which you can by dragging your mouse, and I'm clicking on my presentation, and I'm going to view it and begin. So I'm going to start on slide one, and I've embedded a YouTube video here. So again, these are Google Slides, but PowerPoint, Keynote, anything you like will work when you screen share. So I'm going to hit play and notice this video works. Hi, this is Amy, and I want to talk about how to... So when this recording is done, you'll be able to not only hear me, but you can hear the video. Now, if we go to the second slide, you'll notice there are a lot of words on this slide, and that can sometimes throw students off when they're listening to a lecture, they see a lot of words. This is where the annotation pin comes in that I love so much. So you go to your toolbar, and again, you can move this toolbar anywhere. I'm going to click annotate. Now I have some options here. I could click text and I can actually click and kind of drag and type anything I want into this text box. I can click draw and I can click the pen and I can circle anything while I talk to my students. I also like this little feature on the draw toolbar. If I click the circle, it will make, if I drag my mouse, a way cleaner circle for me. Now, we also have the stamp tool. Different stamps are different colors. I'll show you some stars. Those are kind of fun. The spotlight pen is really nice. So when you click the spotlight pen, I'm not even clicking my mouse to make this work. But as I read through the slide, I can hold this pen underneath. I can draw attention to things. It's a really nice feature. The eraser erases everything. Now, if you are teaching with students and they are annotating, if you're the host, your eraser will erase their annotations as well, which I like. I like having power. When you click format, this is where you can change the color of your pen, the line width, and things about the font. So bold, italics, even how big that font is when you click the text box. You see your basic undo, redo, clear, you can even save, which is really fun. So I'm going to stop sharing here, and I want to show you what happens when we finish recording. So I'm going to stop recording, and it will ask, are you sure? Yep. When I stop recording, I will get an email notification soon that my recording is ready. Then I hit end, and my meeting is done. When you finish your recording, Zoom will send you an email telling you that the audio transcript of your meeting recording is available and your cloud recording link is now available. To get to my cloud recordings, I can do one of three things. I can click my little host link and get there. I could go to zoom.us, click recordings in the left toolbar, and notice the first thing I see is the last thing I recorded. So I can click on this and it takes me to this page. I click on the recording and here I am. 
An important thing to note is what happens if you click share on the video. Notice that I can share this publicly and there's no password protection. That's important for your Oaks classes because if you are requiring a password protection and you're not sharing it publicly, no one can access the recording. So you need to change anything that's on default so that it's public and if they've got the link, they can check it out and you hit done. Or I can click on my Oaks page I can go to Zoom. I can go to Cloud Recordings. Now notice that nothing's here. Even when I click search, don't worry, it's not all lost. You go to all my Zoom meetings and recordings. And it's just like Zoom, Cloud Recording here. And then the very first thing you see is the last thing you recorded. You click it. That takes you to the recording or audio only. You click on the recording. It takes you to that exact same page. Now, here's something really cool. If I want to edit this, and if I want to take the beginning out of it, all I have to do is click these little scissors to set the playback range. It doesn't affect the original recording, and it's easy to use. So all I have to do is just either click one second at a time, or I can pull it a little further in. So I'm gonna take it to about 15 seconds and see where I am. And I'm gonna hit save. So now when my students watch this, they start 15 seconds in. I can also undo that. I can click this, I got it, pull it back and save. So I can do that to the beginning or to the end, edit it and post it online. When I'm ready to share my lecture with my students, I go to the recording, I click share. I can choose to copy the whole clipboard and then I can go to my content module where I can add a description and paste it all here. And students can just click that link and get there. If I wanna get a little fancy, I can actually just highlight this link, go to new, Create a link, put in that URL, you can call it whatever you want. I'm not opening as an external resource because I'd like Oaks to track the viewing and it will do that if I keep it in Oaks. I hit create and now that meeting and the transcript are right here within my content module. When I view this as a fake student, all I have to do is go to content open my content module. I can click this recording link and it takes me right there to the recording and the audio transcript, or I can go to that link we just added, lecture one. This keeps it in Oaks. Notice that this looks the same. So I can hit play. I've got my transcript next to me. And we're connected. Everything is here. I wanna show you that the video can work within this video. This video works. Hi, this is Amy, and I want to... So notice that not only can you hear me lecturing, but we can also watch a video together. In this slideshow, I can actually make the YouTube full screen if I had chosen to when I was sharing my screen. So there's a lot you can do here for your students.